Now the other developing story we're following with team coverage. Hope wearing thin for a community in eastern Kentucky after a planned aluminum mill promising to create hundreds of jobs has hit another setback. Three years ago, the state of Kentucky invested $15 million, your tax dollars, in Brady Industries. But construction on the Greenup mill has not even started. Leaders of the company were in Frankfurt today to explain the holdup. We have full team coverage tonight on how this delayed promise is impacting the community. And the focus team is looking into the state's legal agreement with Brady Industries. But first, political editor Chris Williams is joining us with Frankfurt with the very latest on what he learned from that interim CEO. Hey, Chris. Doug, lawmakers say no one here wants to see the company fail, but the inability for Brady Industries executives to answer all the questions and the revelation that the company needs another $500 million just to break ground hovered over the hope like a cloud. Uh, we feel like we are ready to move forward and we are a shovel ready project. As long as they can find a half billion dollars by year's end. Officials with the aluminum company were pressed by lawmakers wanting to know whether a recent shakeup at CEO was going to put them on track to making the plant a reality and fulfilling the promise of all those jobs. But specifically, why was the previous CEO replaced? Uh, we're here today to answer answer questions on, on, and give you guys an update on, on the project. Uh, those issues are between Craig and the board. But the executives weren't willing to answer all of the questions, which led to more direct questions. They did say that they have all the plans in place to begin construction, permits are ready, and although there's no electricity to the site, they've planned for that too. My optimism and my hope currently is that it gets built and we get our money back with, with a return on that investment. Um, but certainly we're going to keep the pressure on them to make sure that uh, in the event that there is an issue that uh, the taxpayers are protected. And that $15 million is that taxpayer funded seed money. When pressed on whether they could repay, the company executive said they didn't want to answer hypothetical questions. Instead, they're focused on building. The company was asked to submit quarterly progress reports from here on out. Live at the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News. All right. Thank you, Chris.